I mean, you you didn't hold anything back. So how was the experience inside the cage during that fight? Like it, I may sound parang mayabang siguro for a lot of people. Like, but I'm not really like bro. digging deep. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, this one. I like. Ito nga, gusto kong, it's not about nagyaya ba ako. Like, kung ano talaga yung nararamdaman ko. And I've been wanting to share this. And you're the first, you guys are the first one to interview me for how I feel, you know. So I haven't even done my post-vlog about it, mm-hmm. which, you know. Uh, but then since you asked me earlier, I'm like, yeah, it's fine, you know. Uh, excited ako, you know, to, to get interviewed. Because yung pakiramdam ko ngayon, sobrang, still, my heart's still beating. Like I feel so alive, right? So in every angle, it's the best experience uh, in my life. To be honest, I felt like feeling ko parang solo concert ko yung gabi parang ganon. So um, if, if I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, I didn't feel a nerve. So you might think like whatever, you know, where yah bang mo ka, you know, hindi ako kinabahan, you know, and I've, I have had friends who were telling me you're gonna feel like this, like some a uh, good friend of mine, like Paulo. Uh, Ko, sabi niya, um, bro, like Mike Tyson, for example, like you watch this vlog or this this clip, yeah. sabi niya, if he's in the in, in the in the dressing room before a fight, he's nervous. Pag yeah. palabas siya, papunta sa ring, nervous, right? Pag, pero pag pasko niya ng ring, I'm I'm a god, sabi daw ni Mike Tyson. And when I was talking to my boy that morning of that fight, sabi ko, idol, parang feeling ko yung sa akin iba. Um, kung nasa ring, nasa dressing room ako, hindi ako natatakot. Palabas, hindi ako natatakot or matatakot. At pag tapa ko ng ring, hindi rin ako matatakot. You know why? Because I'm with God. Sabi ko. So, tapos may nagulat siya dun sa res- response ko dun. And before sending me the video, in-edit niya yun, ginawa niya, in dulo. Because I'm with God. So yun yung mindset na dinala ko sa Zylo. So, you know, we got in there, I felt like I was just going to go up to a club and go clubbing and dance, right? Which is, <laughs> ano ko yun eh, parang, parang element ko yun eh. I've been clubbing like a thousand times and I would do like five hours of non-stop dancing with my footwork and everything, like just partying. So yun yung sa mga, isa sa mga parang tinake in ko, consider ko sa mga payo ng mga coaches ko at saka mga friends ko na be in your element. Don't try to be like no one else. Don't even try to be like, Mike Tyson or, or Muhammad Ali na magsayaw siya. You know, like, he, he dances, but you're a world champion hip-hop dancer, choreographer. So you dance your own element. Don't try to be like Muhammad Ali. Be Ken Johns. So yun yung chinanil ko na the whole time, I didn't try to be like nobody else. So nangyari sa akin, best na kabahan ako, I was like, it's, it's my birthday, it's my party. You know, it's, it's a club. Like, I, I used to go out clubbing like four times a week. Of, you know, of almost like 20 years of my life. So, yun yung naramdaman ko when people were trying to tell me like, dapat mag-warm up na ako. I barely warmed up like shadow boxing. Nagsayaw ako and my friends were like cheering me like in a dance cipher. Like, ma-init, magano sila. So, I'm like, wala, wala akong kaba. As in, wala talagang kaba going up to... Like, literally, parang feeling ko, dance or singing concert ko siya. Parang I was there and those people were there to witness something, what I had to offer. And... So the fact na inisip ko yung sarili ko lang, na wala yung pressure ko sa boxing or you know striking. Kasi, kasi kapag finront mo yung hindi mo naman, you know, like I'm not a boxer, I'm not a real fighter yet. I don't see myself that yet kasi wala pa akong fight, di ba? So hindi ko pwedeng ipagyabang. Tignan nyo yung boxing skills ko. Once I start thinking that, I'm gonna lose. Because I'm not mm-hmm. yeah, that yeah. good as a boxer yet. So, hindi ko pwedeng ipagyabang. Tignan niyo yung mga combination. Tignan niyo yung mga left. I didn't have to do that. I was just like, watch me dance. And this guy could never catch me. Because I knew I believed in my footworks. Because I've been a dancer my whole life. So, alam kong hindi niya ako mauhuli. So, and then, I would hear a lot of the times, ito pa yung naramdaman ko. The, 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 kaya ako nasasabi na, hindi ako kinabahan. I could hear everybody screaming like, details. Nasabi, itaas mo yung kamao mo. Put your hands up, like ask me yan, cover up, cover up, this and that. I heard them, I heard my coach, see Master Badong, I heard Mamot, I heard even Kiko Matos like scream that over and over. And I was like, I could hear everybody. So 
pasalamat ako sa mga queuing, mga instruction nila. But you know what I said to myself? Because they told me before the fight na at the end of the day, papakinggan mo pa rin yung sarili mong instinct, right? So, kasi ikaw yung mismo nasa loob ng ring, ikaw nakakita ng mga bagay-bagay dyan. Eh. So, when I hear him like, cover up, itas yung kamay. I told myself, uh, gusto ko magsayaw eh. <laughs> so, I just danced. You know, and, and, and realize ko, kapag tinaas ko yung kamay ko, that's gonna be a sign of fear. Takot ako matamaan. So, pag gumalaw ako na takot ako, mas mag-mess up ako. Because yeah. I'm moving, reacting after fear. So, binaligtad ko. Sabi ko, you know, I just want to have the time of my life. I'm gonna dance this night out. So, yun, yun yung ginawa ko. And like I said, I'm not a pro. <laughs> like, literally a beginner, super beginner. Pero pinakinggan ko yung instinct ko at that moment. And it worked out for me. Like, sobrang nag-enjoy ako. Hindi ako natakot, you know?